Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the Audit Rewind Show, where I rewind the audits and react to some of the most crazy law enforcement encounters on YouTube. This first video is by Denver Metro Audits. Here's a little clip from one of his live streams. If you're new here, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the channel. And also, please leave a like before we get started in today's video. So this video by Denver Metro Audits takes place in what I believe to be a library. Now this auditor is exercising his First Amendment constitutional rights. You guys know the drill, as usual, and once again he comes across some employees and some security officers that claim that filming in this building is not allowed and that it's actually illegal. So they proceed to call the cops. Let's take it off from there and see exactly what happens. I will leave a link down below to the original source in the description. Okay. I will. Thank you. You're calling the police on us? Yeah. So you're calling the police on harassment? Journalists? Harassment? Taking pictures is harassment? You don't have my permission to film me. But you're in public, right? No, I'm not. I'm in a building. Yeah, this is a public building though, oh, right? Okay. This isn't like your private business. It's okay. a public building. It's open to the public. So you're initiating force and violence on people who aren't breaking the law? We have cameras. We simply shoot frames per second. Yeah, um, I'm not sure yeah. if this is considered an emergency. Yeah, it's not an emergency because it's not even a crime, man. There's no law being broken. There's what are you a... doing? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not redressing any grievances just now. I don't have any. Keep it that way. Yeah. yeah. You feel a little better now? I'm fine. I've been Good. fine the whole time. All right. I'm not going to call you what you called me because I'm a nicer guy than I you didn't are. Call anybody Have an, to their we face. wish you an excellent to day. Their face. That? To their face. You, you heard that, right? To our face. Yeah. You get yeah. freedom of speech, man. Yeah. It's yes, fine. It we, we love yeah. it. Not a good look. But I'm sure your company probably not going to, you didn't represent your company too well today, Mr. Allied Universal Security Guard. I think I did a fine job, sir. No matter what you said. By kicking somebody's equipment, you think that's okay? You called men with guns you. to come and use force and coercion on peaceful people who are exercising our rights, man. Yes. And then you bumped into me and walked over my tripod. I think an apology okay, that's unacceptable behavior, man. You don't do that to people. Do you have an incident report number for this? Because if you I do, um, I can get this gentleman's name just so that way I can reach out to... Okay. But you can just say, listen, I'm, <laughs> maybe that wasn't a great look. My bad, I'm, I'm sorry. We're not here screaming at you, bro. No, we haven't no. been this entire time. So right now this guy is looking a bit like a lemon. He's standing there a bit silly. He looks like he's made a mistake by calling the cops. And the cops are now going to realize, oh wait, this guy's just filming in a publicly accessible area. He has the First Amendment constitutional right, so we can't really do anything. We just wasted our time and there was no point even being there. Right now, I want to see the law enforcement officers educate the employees of this particular building to show them that really this man is allowed to film as long as he's not harassing or hurting someone then he is really causing no harm and is protected by the first amendment let's keep watching and see what they decide to do i get it, I get it man listen when i'm in the mirror i flex too just not in front of other people just just you know you, Sometimes did, you, you didn't you didn't do the best you could have done maybe you just apologize to the man like He's a patron, customer's always right. It was a weird circumstance, and just give him an apology, man. It's not a big deal. You're showing Constitution. You're giving me a hard time because you didn't like that. Cold no, I'm giving you a hard time because you're because you're a, a mean, ignorant yeah. person with, okay. dis, with disdain you for the public. You think what you want of me. I think it's comical. Thank you, Tanya. Okay. I know you don't. Yeah, I know that it, it is. It, it is, is pretty comical, actually. While you're in the library, do you have a copy of the Constitution? I do not believe that we do at the moment. Oh, we have one in Braille and it was like kind of moldy and gross so we got rid of it. That's probably why. Yeah, that's I the mean, reason. The most important book in a library is the Constitution because none of these other books it's would be here. It's not a book, it's a document. The United States Constitution in library format comes with the United States Constitution, the preamble, the like history, and a breakdown. What are we doing, guys? All the cops on us. Um, mm -hmm. I don't answer questions. No, I'm the, I have a... I have an expectation that I, 
my rights will be upheld. I don't have sure. to. Sure. I'm not looking to do questions. anything to your rights. I appreciate rights. you asking. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I'm going to decline to answer. Okay. Well, I get that. But at the same token, I mean, the people here, if, you, if you're causing alarm, that's concerning, right? So the issue you, is we're filming. That causes alarm. A constitution protected activity can't be transgressed into a crime. Mm -hmm. So us filming on its own cannot cause alarm. Good. We're here minding our own business, yep. working on a story. They called you. Can I ask what kind of story you're working on? I mean, I mean is right, that okay now, to ask? right now it's turning out to be unprofessional behavior from them. That wasn't what the story was when we came in here, but yeah. that's what I guess it's kind well, of. Well, what's the story that now. you were uh, videotaping for? So right now it seems to me that the cops are trying to ascertain what these auditors are actually doing. They're trying to go into petty details, which is kind of irrelevant here in my opinion. The truth is, if they are independent journalists, do they need to give a reason? Well, comment down below your thoughts, because right now, I don't think they do. And the cops know that they are just within the law and they are exercising their rights. So surely, they should just be allowed to simply walk around without giving a reason for why they're there. By all means, the cops can ask, but they won't necessarily get an answer. Let's see what Denver Metro actually says in reply. Right now, it's turning out to be unprofessional behavior from them. That wasn't what the story was when we came in here, but yeah. that's what I guess it's kind well, of. Well, what's the story that now. you were uh, videotaping for? Just, just some stuff going on here in New Boston. We were following up on checking out some of the city buildings, the town buildings. That's all we want to be left alone. But, man. but you know, you. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, you're coming out to try to provoke some type of reaction. No, no. that's absolutely not true. No. Okay, that's okay. not what we're doing. We're coming here. Well, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to do. And I'm going to and I'm totally explain to you what we're you doing. I'm going to explain to you what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. I'm an independent citizen journalist. I'm not even from here. I came here to check out the town, mm -hmm. and we come in here. We're doing a little tour of the public library. We came in here. Initially, everything was great. They were nice to us. This lady Mary over here was being a little bit aggressive. You could tell by the tone of her voice, hey, what are you doing this for? Stuff like that. And mm -hmm. like, hey, are you trying to get a reaction? If that's the truth that we're doing that, they sure as hell gave us one, right? Mm -hmm. Riddle me this for a minute, okay, Batman, right? So um, so if, if, if you guys are in here and you're filming, you're two guys, right? You know, middle-aged guys can walk into the library. What's in the library at like, you know, one in the afternoon? Us. Little kids. Is that, right? Is okay, so just hear me out for a minute. Okay, okay man. here we you, go, guys. No, no. I mean, do you think that the librarians might have some concern for do two middle-aged guys we, running around in the do library? You think, do, you think, do you think we went into the kids section? I, I have no think, idea. Or do you no think idea. we went right up to the desk for what we needed? <clears throat> I, well, I assume you went up to the desk. Is that true? Yeah, no, okay. no, no kids on this feed, man. Okay, no, no. But you can see yeah. where, where maybe no. their concern would lie no, if I that happened. I don't see that concern at all. I think what you're doing is you're trying to fish and you're trying to make fact, uh, fabricate something no. to make us look bad. No, yeah, absolutely that's what you're not. doing, man. That's absolutely what you're doing. <laughs> absolutely not. Okay, you should have came in here. You know what you should have done? You should have came Please in here, ignored us, and you should have went up to them and said, hey, these guys are engaged in a constitutionally protected well, I had no activity. idea what you were doing. How can well, I say that? Guys, that's, that's what I do. <laughs> well, the, well the, once, we, once we establish that that's what so we're doing, we're here. Talk to you guys. Hold on, and hold I on, went over hold to on talk seconds, to them. Right? They said you guys were very hey, kind. You and very nice. Okay. Look at this guy, man. Wants to talk over me, bro. They were very nice. They said you guys are very nice. No, they weren't very nice. Okay, well they and said you're not you guys were nice, man. Because I was in the middle of saying okay. something and you're talking over me. Right, and you you were berating my sergeant over something. I'm okay. berating? No, that's what you guys should have done. Man. After it was that's established, what we did. after it was established that we weren't Two doing anything wrong, you should have told them. One went to talk to you. I went over and talked to them, and I did tell them that. I said, as long as everyone's cordial, it, you guys are allowed to do this. That's but we get called here. The sergeant, sergeant here, here is trying to say, that, oh, well, you know, you guys could be no, recording kids, no, and no, you got to understand no, that. You're not listening to me. I'm saying from their point of view, what's the primary job for a librarian, and they have little kids here? What do you think their primary job is? It's to protect people. I got, That's good. I got Do you need anything else? Yeah, I do need something. So sure. I just want to reiterate or, or uh, get some clarification on what you said. You said that... You said earlier that the librarian's job is to protect people. Is that what well, you said? Well, I mean, if they have somebody here and they're concerned for their safety, I mean, and if they did call, which now I'm finding out they didn't, then okay. yeah, I mean, I guess if right. they called so, and said, hey, you know, what are these guys doing? Sure, that's, right. that's part of their job. It's not even your job to protect people. Well, uh, I disagree with you there. Rain Nation had a great point in here. Are you aware of the case law, Castle Rock versus Gonzalez? Hmm? You are? Yeah. What is this we're, state? Uh, we're, we're good here, man. Do you need anything else? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this cop definitely doesn't want to get into law. He knows that it's probably best that he doesn't. He'll make himself look a bit silly. I don't know why he went, hmm. 
and it sounded like a bit of a affirming hmm as in yes, but in actual fact he was going hmm as in huh? What? Someone versus who? What's case law? I've never heard of that. <laughs> but after all, the cops obviously honoured their rose. They may have been a bit silly and kind of been petty towards the end saying all oh, they need to know why you're here, you know, maybe try and call them beforehand. And they did the, the, the cops said that they did the right thing by calling them. I thought calling law enforcement was for only emergencies. Like if someone's seriously in need, that's the whole point. 911 is for emergencies. Don't you guys have a non-emergency number in the US? I'm pretty sure you do. Because when I lived over there for a few years, I remember my auntie saying that you do, I just can't remember. But in the UK, we're encouraged not to ever ring the emergency number unless we're quite literally dying already dead. So I don't know why in the US people call 911 like they just feel a, a, a headache or they just have someone annoying them. They decide, oh, I'm going to call the cops on you. That's dreadful. It really is. The dispatchers need to definitely be trained better. Um, anyway, guys, that is my reaction and criticism of this audit by Denver Metro Audits. Link to his channel in the description. Let's get into our next one. Uh, you nicely, I this cop has just asked the man nicely and has decided that he wants to harass him for standing in the road? Yep, that's right. This man is filming the cops for accountability. He's exercising his rights in public to film the cops. I'll leave a link down below to this guy's channel. Please go and subscribe to him. In this video, I'm going to react to a moment from one of his audits, do some criticism of the behavior from him and also the law enforcement. So just to give you a bit of background quick before we watch this, the cops have pulled him over because apparently he's walking on the edge of the road. Now this man is defending himself by saying the sidewalk is completely full and the cops are trying to say that he's jaywalking and that they need to cite him. So they apparently know him, they know his name and he is actually known to them. I don't know why but they treat him like he's uh, literally like in kindergarten. It's really disrespectful and uh, I'm going to show you guys what happens here. Let's get into it. Uh, I asked you nicely. I said, Christian, can you please get out the roadway? And you gave me an attitude. Okay? I didn't give you an attitude. Yes, I said, I'm going to get out the road once I get you, in this good spot. There's a good spot right where I told you to get out of the roadway, Christian. A sidewalk that's packed. A, come look at the sidewalk. It and was packed sure you, when I was there. Make sure you put well, don't worry. There too. Look, I know. Look at the sidewalk. It was packed when it's I was not, passing, when I was going to go packed, through. Christian. When I was, look, I look and I calculate at the time frame, it's so I know packed. what I'm doing. It's I know not, how to walk. It's not packed. And you're jaywalking in the sidewalk. Oh, uh, I mean, jaywalking? Street, jaywalking. Yes. How is it jaywalking? I just told somebody else to get out of the roadway, and I'm telling you, as a citizen, to please get out the roadway. And you want to give me a problem. I'm not giving problems. Yes, you are. Something's up with you. Nothing you is never, up with me. You have never talked to me this way. Because I'm being harassed for something that's no stupid. One's, no one's harassing you. I've no never one. You. No one. Have I ever harassed you? No one. I have evidence that I'm being harassed, have and yet I, you're still ever, trying to say that I'm ever, not being harassed. Have I ever harassed you? Do you me. always come at me. me when there's a call about me? Me. But do you pull up when there's a call about me? Me. I'm Every single you. one of you. I'm asking you. Every me. single one of you. Do y'all come pull up on me we whenever just, they call? I'm not. We were just talking about your bicycle the other day, the three wheeler. We were just talking about how you were working. We were just talking about how you were doing so good, and we were actually having. Whoa, a whoa, whoa, wait! Y'all want to talk about how I'm, how I was doing so good, but yeah, y'all put me on the internet, on TV. Like, come on, man. Huh? But y'all put me on TV with lies, talking about I'm panhandling, I'm alcoholic, I'm trespassing, all that. I'm on TV with lies, but yet y'all don't do it to the actual people. Who's putting you on TV? Did you see me walking? I hate when everybody lies to me, yo. That's why I do this. This is what we do. We protect ourselves for lies that y'all create, saying that y'all don't do nothing, but yet y'all do. I got it on Facebook, man. I got everything. Sometimes if you have many interactions with the law enforcement in your town or county, then they will actually recognize your face. Your tags may be logged to be stopped regularly. This can be very, very bad and it can be influenced as harassment. This can be so annoying, so I kind of feel this guy's pain. However, you have to remember that this guy's talking to the cop as if he just uh, is a friend. You know, this is how I interpret the video. So my criticism would be just to literally ask him, you know, am I being detained and just leave? Because I feel like he's having a petty argument with this cop. And if anything, that might play into the cop's benefit it might play into his hands obviously in this situation safety is the most important thing but then there's you know being patronizing the guy isn't stupid is he gonna walk out into the road is he gonna walk in front of a car is he 
really that clumsy that he's gonna fall over and you, it doesn't make any sense. The cop's treating him like he is in kindergarten and can't think for himself. He's clearly said he's trying to walk the other side because the sidewalk is so busy that he wouldn't even get past anyone. <sighs> Let's keep watching. Y'all create saying that y'all don't do nothing for yet y'all do. I got it on Facebook, man. I got everything. Oh, it's all recorded on your body cam, but what? Guess what? Y'all can edit y'all videos and lie about it. Everything could be edited, but yeah, I don't edit mine because the facts that we do, we don't edit our videos. We put the whole footage. We can't edit nothing. Yes, I can. No, we cannot. Everything that happens. The, all, the, right whole, now, the way how you edit is you turn off your microphone and your cameras every time you touch when nobody's paying attention. Oh, no, y'all do that. No, no, you're saying that in front of everybody, but yet behind people's back, y'all actually touch and turn out the microphone and cameras. Come on, man. It's never been so, hostile and it's never been like this, okay? And I think, I think you're upset. No, 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 I'm not upset. No, 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 I'm not upset. No, 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 no. I'm not upset. I'm just being harassed by the people that's literally y'all causing. I'm not doing nothing illegal. Whoa, wait. So, I'm jaywalking, but yet... The people that does it anyways, y'all don't do shit to them, but you do y'all choose certain people to say it to. Come on. You clearly don't understand the severity of the situation. You know if I when I pay for it? No no no. Here's this. When I pay for it, I'm gonna lose I'm gonna sue y'all for everything y'all do. So at the end of the day is y'all scamming me for just walking, minding my own business, not causing no harm or nothing to anybody or to myself. So as of right now, you are being detained while I write your citation. If you leave, that's going to be fleeing. And then we'll take you... If I leave, I'm, it's a call to criminal and I know I'm wrong. Yeah. But if I'm so, staying here, I know I'm right. So at the end of the day, I don't have nothing... You don't, I don't, I'm, you don't have to tell me that I'm being detained. All you got to do is just write me the citation and give me. That's it. You don't have to tell me that I'm detained. Okay, and then you can have this argument with the judge. I don't need a, I don't have argument with judges because I'm not going to that courthouse. I'm going, no, no, I'm not, don't, I'm not going to that courthouse because you guys are connected. You guys are, you understand that. But yeah, there's always out here committing crimes and everything around kids and all that. But yeah, I don't do nothing. But that's why nobody ever talks to you. Nobody saying, no, it's not my opinion. It's all facts. I see what goes on. So you're going to tell me it's my opinion out of your words. No, 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 no. It's not my opinion. It's facts. It's, I, I, when I see something, I put facts. No, 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 because I got evidence on everything. Come on, man. I, re I take pictures of people. I record people with what they do. Since y'all want to say that we saying something different when we're not. So at the end of the day, it's, it's all on camera everywhere. It's, at. it's in cameras on Teslas. It's the camera people that pay for cars that put in their car. So you th all think that I'm stupid. At the end of the day, I'm smarter than you. That's why y'all don't like me at all. In all honesty guys, I can't understand why the cops would treat this man in such a way unless he has a history with the cops of bad behaviour, certain crimes, etc. Now that's something I have no idea about, I don't know this guy's past, I don't know how the cops know him or his name, but they're talking to him as if they treated, they've uh, dealt with him before, and uh, you know, they're, they're being very demeaning to him, patronising. Uh, do you guys get that as well? Do you get that vibe when you watch this video? Um, it's kind of really disrespectful in my opinion because unless this man has some kind of uh, issues like men mental problems or some kind of disability then uh, I can't understand why the cops are talking to him in such a patronizing way. Obviously jaywalking is uh, something that's very controversial and uh, many people think oh you know it's a good way for them to cite you and give you citations but there's also a health side to it and a safety side to it so we have to also consider this when we have our open discussions. Now, that's my overall thoughts and criticism of this video. If you want to watch the full version, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Personal reason? Yes, sir. Up next, we have a video by Convoy Action Network. I'll leave a link down below to this guy's channel in the description. So this particular video takes part where we have a cop actually having a conversation with the auditor now, it's weird because this cop comes over in a very uh, negative vibe. He seems to not want this guy filming. And at first, he comes up with the reason of maybe that he's not allowed to be there because it could potentially be private property. But then he goes on to make it sound like this man filming is suspicious or like up to no good. Yeah, because exercising your rights to film in public means that you're somehow a criminal, right? <sighs> anyway, <laughs> yeah guys, please take a look at this video because you guys need to give your opinions on this. And if you aren't subscribed to 
this auditor already then definitely do it i'll leave a link to his channel in the description let's get started with this reaction and criticism let's go personal reason yes sir okay you making a movie or uh kind of like a little story yes sir okay all right you from around here uh uh not gonna ask any questions sir. not gonna answer the question no sir okay i was just taking pictures okay and video well the, you know this is private property right okay and video well the, you know this is private property right it's private yeah i did not know that yeah i mean if you're conducting some sort of business, obviously with the city, you know, going into inspections, getting building permits, trying to bond somebody out of jail, you have a court case. Something. I was going to go uh, do some public records request. Okay. But I, I changed my mind. I was just going to come back tomorrow and do it. Okay. Yeah. Why not today? I don't have time. And then my battery's running out. I wanted to document everything I was going to do. Okay. What kind of public requests are you doing? Uh, are you looking for something specific? Just salaries and... Well, that wouldn't be handled here anyway. Okay, okay. You'd have to go up to our human resources department up that, at the main city hall. The city hall? Okay. And all that. And your name and your badge number? Uh, I don't have a badge number, but my name is Officer Cutcliffe. Okay, okay. Is that your name? I'm not going to give my name, sir. Okay. Okay, I'll... You, you can ask for my name, but you won't give me your name out of the kindness of friendship. I'll give you my friend. first name. Yes. Okay. I appreciate you coming out here checking on me. Well, look. I mean, you have to understand, this is a secure building, so there shows some concern because there's some federal buildings that are uh, entities that, that reside in this building. Okay, and you're saying this is private property? Once you get past a certain point where you were... So once again, we have a fine example of the cop trying to somehow make something up of something that isn't. God, that was an awful choice of words. But you get what I mean. Right now, the cop is trying to paint this auditor as some kind of a trespasser, as if he's gone into restricted areas and he has gone past signs that state that they are now private or restricted. But if you look back, the auditor has actually replayed the footage for us and showed us that he is in fact stood behind the sign and doesn't walk down the lane and stays out of restricted areas. You'd have to be really stupid to actively walk in a restricted area as an auditor, especially somewhere around this type of area, because they put the signage up. Signage is so important. Now there are some audits where I've seen the auditor walk in areas that don't have any signage, but then the police tell them, yeah, this is private, you can't go here. Well, there's no signage, so how are they supposed to know that? In this video, he's done nothing wrong so far, in my opinion, so let's keep watching. Get past a certain point where you were... Yeah, right here? Yes. Okay. Like I said, if you have business here, mm -hmm. um, then then you're more than welcome to be here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Huh? I can come back tomorrow, as long as you have some. I'll, I'll come talk to you. That's just so we can, you know, feel safe. And I mean, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be here. Okay. Uh, but like I said, you know, there, there's really no reason to be here unless there's some sort of business you're conducting. I'm, I am. I'm conducting um, business. And... You know, it, it would be like me walking around your house and, and me filming your house. That's that's private, though, sir. It's what? That's private property. My, my house would be well, private property. Well, in certain aspects. Just okay. like you're saying that you can film all of this uh -huh. um, from, from a public parking lot because you have access to it. I can stand on the street in front of your house all day long. Yeah, no, on the street, yeah. around the perimeter of your property. Exactly. And, and film everything, you, your family, and all, and all that kind of stuff. All right. Uh -huh. So, uh, again... Yeah, you know, have no problem with you being here. Okay. Um, can't say that I really understand why you're filming the building and stuff. But you know what? If that's what you want to do, help yourself. Okay. But you need to make sure you understand that there's certain areas that yeah, are restricted. restricted areas. Yeah. And if you don't have a legitimate reason, mm -hmm. business-wise, for being here, um, then then you probably don't have. Uh, business being here well again we're here to serve the public right 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 okay mm -hmm. but but loitering somewhere mm -hmm. um and and being somewhere if you're not conducting business is just normally 
you know, I can't go sit in a restaurant and take up one of their tables for hours upon time when I'm not a patron and I don't have legitimate business. Good being point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the private company if you're in a restaurant, but I, I get it. Well, but it's got public access. Right. Okay. I got you. Same thing. Public access here for people that are conducting business with the city. Right. I got you. But I'll be back. I'll, I'll be back uh, and conduct my business. Is there anything that we can do for you? Oh, no. Okay. I'm good. Do you need a ride anywhere? No, I don't. I don't. What's your name and badge number, sir? I've already, I've already told you we don't have badge numbers here, sir. Okay. All right. I appreciate you coming out and checking on me. No worries. So you're leaving? Uh, yeah. This was a very pointless interaction by the law enforcement individual. I feel like he was trying to prove a point, making this order to look like he was somehow breaking the law or just being an annoying idiot, when in actual fact he's not doing either, he's just exercising his rights and also he's not stupid. Most auditors know where they can and can't go and if you are a new auditor, I've had a few of them reach out to me on email asking me to feature their channels and I have done and uh, I can't think of the names off the top of my head right now but one guy was in Denver um, but this guy is trying to paint the auditor out as a criminal in my opinion and if you are a new auditor just be very very careful that you don't go to restricted rooms or you don't walk onto private property because then the cops will have something against you and that's the last thing you want if you come up against a bad apple that wants to arrest an auditor that wants to assert his dominance and power flex the hell out of his badge onto you so I think all in all this order to handle the situation well, I think maybe he could have been a bit more assertive and maybe took control of the conversation. That would be my criticism, however you have to remember, this cop gives off vibes that if that happened he would just start yelling and possibly try and arrest the guy. So I think all in all he handled the situation well. I'll leave a link down below to his channel in the description. This is the end of tonight's Audit Rewind show. If you're new here, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the evening uploads. And please leave a like today. Can we hit 800 likes on today's video? It'll mean the world to me. I've been your host commentator, and I'll catch you in tomorrow evening's video. Stay safe, stay well, peace out.